Welcome back to Fast Money. Time may be running out for TikTok. Earlier this afternoon, the House Energy and Commerce Committee unanimously voted to approve a bill that would crack down on the popular social media company. CBC's Emily Wilkins has got the details. Emily. Hey, Melissa. Well, yeah, that controversial bill could lead to TikTok being blocked, and the U.S. has cleared its first hurdle now, getting bipartisan support from the Energy and Commerce Committee. Now, the bill is now poised to head to the House floor, with Speaker Mike Johnson endorsing the bill this morning as an important bipartisan measure to take on China, our largest geopolitical foe, which is actively undermining our economy and security. And we actually just heard from House Majority Leader Steve Scalise that that bill will be on the floor next week. Now, of course, there have been previous efforts to ban TikTok and they have failed, but supporters of the bill say that this is not a ban and that TikTok can continue to be in the U.S. so long as it divests from its parent company, ByteDance. Chairwoman Kathy McMorris-Rogers, who heads the Energy and Commerce panel, uh, said the legislation doesn't ban free speech but addresses potential threats from China. This bill is focusing on national security threats uh, that, are, that are owned and controlled by a China, uh, by, a, uh, by a foreign adversary, it does not get into con the content that's on that application. A survey of members that was done in October of last year found only about 7% of lawmakers have a TikTok, although not all of them were verified and some hadn't posted in months. Now, of course, President Joe Biden got on TikTok last month, but don't expect that to hold up the legislation. A National Security Council spokesperson said the administration has worked with lawmakers on the bill, and Biden is urging lawmakers to pass it through both the House and the Senate. Melissa? All right. Uh, Emily, thank you. Emily Wilkins in D.C. for us.